I moved to Glasgow now, about 20 years ago now, uh, I moved when I came up here, I moved to an area called Maryhill, which is about 30 miles north of Glasgow, and that's where I've been for the last 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where I've been for the last 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where I've been for the last 20 years. Yeah, yeah. That's where I've been for the last 20 years. It's not. It's not. Like, it's not. It's not a bad area, Mary Hill. It's not. It's a very nice area if you want to buy raw meat off a stranger on a bus. But it's not. It's not North Kelvin side. Describing Mary Hill as North Kelvin side is like describing your arsehole as part of your lower back. <laughs> Close, but it's a hell of a lot shittier. We moved. We moved last year. Me and my wife, my two kids, we moved. We moved from Mary Hill to Drumchapel. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we're going to play the fucking game. Yeah. We're going to be the only family that downgrade with every move. We're going to go Mary Hill, Drumchapel. The Gaza Strip, <laughs> Basra, and then Paisley. <laughs> move to house, move to house. Uh, we, currently, we currently have a variable tracker mortgage. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> I know, I know I'm using quite technical language here. So for all of the young people in the room, a house. It's, uh, it's something you'll never have. You'll never, 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 never. Like, like a house to you is like happiness to me. Uh, you'll only get it once your parents die. Uh, I don't know if anyone, I don't know if bought a house in here. Right? This, is, this is the first time I've bought a property. I don't really like so many bell ends you have to go through. Buying a property, like you're not selling a flat, but buying a house. So you just bail end after bail. We had a guy come in to do a, a home report. A home report. This guy comes in, he basically tells you how much your property's worth. So this guy comes in, he looks around and he goes, Yeah, I reckon this place is worth about 125,000. And he went, Oh, really? You were kind of hoping for more like 140,000. And he went, Oh, you're probably right, you've 140,000. <laughs> <laughs> What are we paying you for? <laughs> I'm not paying you 800 quid to guess. It doesn't work in any other situation. Like, I've never been in bed with a woman. And she's rolled off me and gone, I've got to tell you, Mark, you've got an incredibly small penis. I reckon it's massive. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs>